Yep, I think this is gonna do. Now it's time to go exploring and see what I can find. So my goal today is there's some fallow deer over here somewhere. There have been a couple big bucks I've seen, and I wouldn't mind snagging one. I, I've spent a couple days over here. I'm pretty sure the area is blown out. I'm not expecting anything, any kind of miracles. <sighs> but I just changed up a bunch of stuff with my setup, and I got three days before Alaska comes out, and I want to be ready. So, fallow deer hunt. Oh, hey, look at that, a fox. I have nothing to take a fox. You know what I just realized, though? I didn't bring the deer collar. I have to head back to the ATV. God dang it. I heard fallow deer, so I'm in the right area, but I gotta head back to the ATV because I forgot to switch out uh, my deer collar, right? Am I an idiot here? Yeah, I need to switch out. Probably pig. Oh, that fox has moved. It's amazing how far away I can be and still access into this trunk. Roe deer. I just heard roe deer. That was far off, though. I don't... I have no idea. That was over the one of these hills. All right. But now that I have the, the grunt, now I can travel all the way back. Oh, the roe deer collar is a separate collar. But I'm not going for roe deer. I'm going for fallow. That sounded like a warning call. Yeah, I can, like, pinpoint it now. It's, it's right behind these trees here. I'm gonna kind of move a little bit just so I can try and get eyes on. Fairly certain what I'm hearing is roe deer. All right up there. What am I seeing? Oh, there's one with something sticking out of his head. I don't know, but I feel like I need to find some cover here. Oh, that is fallow deer. I think we're gonna just try and use this tree here as cover. How far is that rock? Not far. We're gonna set this rifle for 110 and just sit and wait. Just kneeling behind a tree, waiting for deer to come out. Yeah, they won't notice anything, right? Oh, here they come. God, they're coming right at me. Look at this. Now, I need to learn a thing or two about fallow deer. He's got a lopsided. I might want him out just to improve the herd. But there looks to be a bigger guy back here. That guy looks nice. That guy looks nicer. I think. Ooh, I don't know. I need to see this guy again. I think this guy's bigger. I think I'm gonna take him. It worked. You know, that guy might have had bigger palms. God, that's a good-looking herd back there. This may actually be the herd I was looking for. <laughs> There's my UTV, right? Don't let me aim at the UTV. There they go. Let's go see what I got, huh? We're gonna walk pretty casually. Happy with that. It's amazing. Had I not forgotten the collar or felt the need for it, I would not have come back to the ATV and I would not be in this position because I was... I was a good four or five hundred yards down the trail. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going, buddy? If you... Oh. What if I want a trophy shot? Now what? Yeah, I have no collision. But in multi... Uh, well, but with the ATV, I might. I might be able to shove him around with the UTV. We could take a look at him. Let's take a look at the harvest screen see what we got here. That's a nice, look at those big honkers on the back here. And that's a two star? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that's what a two star looks like? Really? How, what am I missing? There's something moving around or is he making noise? I don't know. Hang on, let's look this up. Fallow deer. Okay, so they top out at 500. So two star means they're th 285 to 356. And he's a 304. Wow, so they do get a lot bigger than this. So we might leave that herd alone. Because they got good genes, they got good genetics. I'll leave them alone and just keep moving up the river like I originally planned. But that'll still make a cool thumbnail, I think. Maybe right about there? All right, let's sell them. I need the money anyways, because I don't know how much the crossbow costs. Oops. I hit way too many buttons. No, that's the 300. I didn't even pay attention to that. Did I get full hunt stars? I should, right? 270? I should. Oh, that's a rock. 
Oh, there they are. At least there's a, a doe. Yeah, we'll leave them alone. We're going to move up, see what else we can find up river. Ooh, so I'm just walking down the road and here I go ahead and I spot me a little something. There's some red deer sitting back here feeding. Now I'm not seeing any lookers, but given that they are close enough for a call, this is probably a good opportunity that if any of them are low fitness to go ahead and pull some out. So I'm just going to pop up here. Just going to let out a, a low fitness call and see if any respond. They look pretty young. It might just be the way the light's hitting them. Oh, also, I'm... Oh, I'm getting a bad reading on the distance. Dang it. I don't have great wind for this either. I need to get up to these trees here. So the caller only works out to about 200. I thought they were 180. I was hitting a branch with the range. I wasn't hitting the actual deer. The actual deer like 220 out. Nah, that's not good. I think they're picking me up. I'm going to try and work away a little bit, maybe. And my wind's just blowing straight at them. Yeah, they freaking know I'm here. Doesn't mean they can see me, and I could probably still have some luck giving a call. Uh. That one there. Try it again. We're just going to use a tree. Just quietly waiting. He'll come in. Never mind me. <laughs> He's still coming in. I can still hear him stepping down there, but I don't think he's going to come up. He's being a little stubborn. I still hear the occasional twig snap that tells me I think they're down in this and by the water still, but I haven't seen him. I think because of the fact that I can't uh, see him and I'm not hearing any more responses, I'm going to let the call run out. And then uh, I'll just try and get in a little bit closer, maybe get my wind in a better situation. There's a problem. They did move off. I'm essentially pacing them right now, but they're about 220 out. And there's a roe deer down here. And there's like a little group of saplings right here. I think this will be close enough. There's a cross... That one that just ran left to right. I have no idea if that's the one I'm looking for. I'm just gonna bury myself in this bush here and hope this works. Oh shoot, there he was. Oh, and he just spooked. If he pauses though. That was my fault, I went up, moved up too fast, although they didn't wander far. God, but they are too far. But I do know that that's the one I want. So now I just gotta sit here for a little bit longer. Be one with the bush and cross my fingers they wander back in. Close enough for me to separate out the low fitness. I'm fairly confident I remember which one it is, but with not being a trophy hunt, not being like going for a big trophy animal, I wanna be a hundred percent sure. Be patient. Maybe they'll wander back close enough. Call them, separate them out, blast them. I mean, I already got my fallow deer. That was kind of my goal. I thought that was a big one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of glad this is virtual because my knees are hurting just watching this guy and thinking how long I may end up sitting here. Oh, hmm. R Roe deer, right? I saw a little one up there. They're not moving in any. The furthest one back there is pretty far. Uh, I could try and move in and close 80 yards, but I think I'd lose sight of them. I think I'd bump them before I made it, got it close enough. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to give it a shot. If I bump them this time, though, I think it's time to move on. So I'm just going to try and sneak down somewhere over, probably by that, past that tree. So I need to be 80 closer. Yeah, that's not, is that roe deer? Is that just those jackals in the area too? Jeez. Pretty lively little hillside. Oh, there's a whole bunch of deer back there. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. Itty bitty tiny little thing up there. Itty bitty little thing. Dear God, it's shorter than some of the grass around it. I got jackals and foxes making noise to the right. It's amazing too, because you think a position like this where I have this whole hillside in my view, it'd be easy. Yeah, I'm dragging my wind all over you guys, aren't I? All these little nooks and crannies and things they can hide in. 
Uh, look at that, all the red deer. You can't see all the ones that are back there now. I don't know, let's see if I'm close enough yet. And again, I think I'm pretty well hidden. Hopefully. Hopefully I just look like a, a, a thick stick. Hey, it responded. Let's go, that means I'm finally close enough. There he is, that's the one I want. I don't know why the cows are all coming in. Hinds, does, I don't remember what they're called. Yeah, if he was the only stag responding to low fitness. He's down. Oh, there goes a fox. Just a little boom bush. Scaring all the critters away. Alright, but we got him. Holy hell. That was a lot of work just to do, just to take a low fitness out. I don't know why, but staring at this thing seems to make me a little hungry. Uh, first shot was a lung and a heart shot. So I really didn't need the follow-up. But the follow-up was lung and liver. And he was a 47%. The only one that responded and a youngin. So the most that hurt seemed pretty young. I think I want to head up the river just a touch more. Yeah, I still wouldn't mind finding another fallow deer. So I'm just going to keep looking. Wait, what? Oh, it's a jackal. God dang, I almost walked up on this guy. Oh, apparently there were a few. I don't think I can take him. All I have is a 270 and a 300 with me. That is pretty nifty, though. Yep, there they go. This valley is full of wildlife. I like it. Jesus. They were, uh, not really afraid. Hang on a ticket. Hang on a ticket. Okay, just making sure of the fact that it is registering them on ranger difficulty. God, I should have brought a shotgun. <laughs> no, because you can't put anything. So I guess I should have brought the 223. I hear more red deer over here. I'm gonna take it slow and steady. Cause I'm not exactly, I just know I heard him over here. Not exactly sure where, but there is a stand. I like the stands sometimes for trophy hunting, but right now where I'm really just gonna be trying to take low fitness animals out, I don't like it because it limits my movement. If I climb up there, spot the animal, and they're not under 200 yards, I can't call them in. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to keep moving around. I guess I'm going to just keep working my way down here nice and slow. Of course, it doesn't help I stick out like a sore thumb right now. Now, well, it's not much cover, but I figure I'll put a call out and see if anything responds. Fairly certain I keep hearing movement up in this tree line somewhere. But I haven't heard the, uh, stag vocalize in a minute. So perhaps a bit of a plan change. That's the end of the valley as far as I wanted to go. And pretty much about six, seven, maybe actually even a lot further actually. I'm probably about a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile away from the UTV. So I think I need to start heading back. Plus that'll put wind in my favor for anything else that's wandered. Just try and avoid pulling from the same herds I've already seen. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the case. I want to head back because I don't want to leave the UTV there. Besides, this is just a test. As far as tests go, I think everything's gone all right. I got a big, a, well, what I would have considered a trophy fallow until I saw the score. Honestly, I'd still consider it a trophy. Been happy with that. And I pulled some low genetic red deer out of that herd. So I don't know if I see anything on the way back to the UTV that uh, tickles my fancy. I'll go after that. If not, just head on back. That and I've already been out here six hours. Didn't even realize that. Well, I made it back to the UTV. Uh, the only thing I saw on the way back was that same herd of red deer. And the fallow deer that were wandering around over here, they finally moved off somewhere. Not exactly sure where. Uh, they did run across when I took that first one, and then they came back across over here. Yep, that was about it. All, all quiet from here on out. I keep seeing these bushes and thinking I'm seeing something up there. So I think I'll take this opportunity to head on back to the cabin.
Oh, I spooked something down there. Oh. Hey. Those are my fallow deer. God dang, look at them go. That, see, that doesn't look like a small fallow deer. I wonder if that's that same herd. Back to the right. It's, uh, it might be worth to walk to that corner there and see if I can't get eyes on these guys. I don't think there is a cut in the mountains that they can possibly cross over, but I don't think they're climbing that. So, yep, I think it's time to ditch the UTV again, because I wouldn't mind getting one more fallow deer. God, that doesn't sound healthy. I think there might be a second herd up to the left. Because it seems like if I go to my initial spot right there, I'll end up right between two herds. That sounds so weird. I hear movement, so they're like right at the top of this or, or just over it. I don't think it's the herd I'm looking for, though. I'm trying to find a spot where I'll be in between so I can look both ways, but... I don't know, it sounds small. If I had to guess size based off call. Alright, executive decision time. The fallow deer I'm hearing up there has been there for a minute and doesn't sound like it's going anywhere. And since I already said that I was going to leave that other herd alone... I think it might be worth to try and get in position to see these guys. So I think I'm going to sneak along this left tree line, try and get up there, but keep my wind friendly. Cross my fingers and see if anything's of interest. It, the one that's vocalizing doesn't sound big. Uh, that may be a weird statement to make, but I swear that there's a, there's a sound difference, right? I could be wrong and it could just be the environment, but I guess I'll find out. Getting closer. He still doesn't sound any better. Wait, was it pig making that sound? Of course! I wonder how many people are getting mad at me going, you're not hearing fallow deer, you idiot. You're hearing pig. Yeah, that makes much more sense. That's, that's, that's pig. That's a pretty big pig right there. So is that one far right there. Might just shoot this one here. I need to stand up. Oh no. All right, we're gonna go for this one. Um. What just happened? I don't think my bullet registered okay i'm just gonna make sure i have you yeah, know i got a good ping let's go see what happened holy dear god so i spent all this time stalking pigs not even realizing the call wild brain in me completely i the the sounds i completely forgot oh wait oh no that's a rock did i hit it oh no i hit it and that's a good vital shot. Okay. Well, I guess I have the fun task now ahead of me of trying to find Pig. It's not like looking at what you've done and realizing you just made more work for yourself. But that's half the fun. Wait, this isn't a rock. They're not far either. I'm pretty sure I still... Yeah, look. There's the rest of these pigs here. I'm gonna leave them be, though. Seeing as I didn't really intend to come out and get Pig. What do we got here? Oh, I was way too steep of an angle. That's a young male. Yeah. And that looked like one of the bigger ones I saw. So I could either be off on my sizing or that's just a young little, what do you call them? A pack? Uh-oh. I had to sell them quick because I heard footsteps. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, see, so like, that looks like the biggest one to me, but there's a bunch in there that size. I think, though, I should go ahead and back out of here. Leave him be. I need to get back to my UTV. Yeah, see, that's pig sound. That I recognize. For some reason, I didn't rec recognize the other sound. My god, I just... Oh, I feel so dumb. That's a sickly-sounding fallow deer. Well, yeah, because it's a pig, you idiot. Oh, which means that I gave up my opportunity at those fallow deer. Is that the, is that the road? Yes, that's the road. 
That's that's the road. Okay. Instead of wandering back on, let me just get to the road, go get back to the UTB. Oh, I completely gave up my opportunity to go after those fallow deer for what sounded like a sickly fallow deer. Pig. Ugh. It never fails. I walked all the way back here, full speed, full speed walking, and the second I fire this thing up, something starts walking around in there. That's fine. Leave him be. Quit hunting for a day. Maybe pay attention to where you're going as you drive off the road into a tree. Get back to the cabin. Ah, home sweet home. Away from home. So again, this video is just supposed to be a test if it even makes it to YouTube, I don't know. Uh, Aurora Shores, I believe, releases in three days, so if I manage to get this done in time, fine. If not, it was just a test for me to make sure everything's working the way I want. I'm crossing my fingers, of course, because I would really hate to have done all this for nothing, but hey, set out for fallow deer, got a fallow deer, got a red deer, and ended up getting a pig that uh, apparently I need to study up on my calls a bit more. But that's going to do it for this one, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, because there's buttons if you did, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.